Frederick Henry, Prince of Orange, Wikipedia Audio Frederick Henry, or Frederick Hendrik in Dutch, was the sovereign Prince of Orange and Stadtholder of Holland, Zeeland, Utrecht, Gulders, and Overijssel from 1625 to 1647. As the leading soldier in the Dutch wars against Spain, his main achievement was the successful siege of S. Hertogenbos in 1629. It was the main Spanish base and a well-fortified city protected by an experienced Spanish garrison and by formidable water defences. His strategy was the successful neutralization of the threat of inundation of the area around S. Hertogenbos and his capture of the Spanish storehouse at Vasel. Frederick Henry was born on January 29, 1584 in Delft, Holland, Dutch Republic. He was the youngest child of William the Silent and Louise de Coligny. His father William was stadtholder of Holland, Zeeland, Utrecht, and Friesland. His mother Louise was daughter of the Huguenot leader Gaspard de Coligny, and was the fourth wife of his father. He was thus the half-brother of his predecessor Maurice of Orange, deceased in 1625. Biography Frederick Henry was born six months before his father's assassination on July 10, 1584. The boy was trained to arms by his elder brother Maurice, one of the finest generals of his age. After Maurice threatened to legitimize his illegitimate children if he did not marry, Frederick Henry married Amalia of Somes Braunfels in 1625. His illegitimate son by Margaretha Katharina Bruins, Frederick Nassau de Zee Wielenstein was born in 1624 before his marriage. This son later became the governor of the young William III of England for seven years. On the death of Maurice in 1625 without legitimate issue, Frederick Henry succeeded him in his paternal dignities and estates and also in the stadtholderates of the five provinces of Holland, Zeeland, Utrecht, Overijssel, and Gulders, and in the important posts of Captain and Admiral General of the Union. William II, Prince of Orange, Louise Henriette of Nassau, Henriette Amalia of Nassau, Elizabeth of Nassau, Isabella Charlotte of Nassau, Albertine Agnes of Nassau, Henriette Catherine of Nassau, Hendrik Ludwig of Nassau, Maria of Nassau. Frederick Henry proved himself almost as good a general as his brother, and a far more capable statesman and politician. For 22 years he remained at the head of government in the United Provinces, and in his time the power of the Stadtholderate reached its highest point. The period of Frederick Henry, as it is usually styled by Dutch writers, is generally accounted the Golden Age of the Republic. It was marked by great military and naval triumphs, by worldwide maritime and commercial expansion, and by a wonderful outburst of activity in the domains of art and literature. The chief military exploits of Frederick Henry were the sieges and captures of Graal in 1627, S. Hertogenbos in 1629, of Maastricht in 1632, of Breda in 1637, of S.A.S. Van Gent in 1644, and of Hulst in 1645. During the greater part of his administration the alliance with France against Spain had been the pivot of Frederick Henry's foreign policy, but in his last years he sacrificed the French alliance for the sake of concluding a separate peace with Spain, by which the United Provinces obtained from that power all the advantages they had been seeking for eighty years. Frederick Henry built the country houses Hughes Hanselarsdijk, Hughes Ternuburg, 
and for his wife Hughes ten Bosch, and he renovated the Nordian Palace in The Hague. Hughes Hanselars Dijk and Hughes Ternjeberg are now demolished. Frederick Henry died on March 14, 1647 in The Hague, Holland, Dutch Republic. He left his wife Amalia of Somes Braunfels, his son William II, Prince of Orange, four of his daughters, and his illegitimate son Frederick Nassau de Z. Wielstein. On Frederick Henry's death, he was buried with great pomp beside his father and brother at Delft. The Treaty of Munster, ending the long struggle between the Dutch and the Spaniards, was not actually signed until January 30, 1648, the illness and death of the stadtholder having caused a delay in the negotiations. Frederick Henry left an account of his campaigns in his memoirs de Frederick Henri. See Cambridge Mod. History Vol. 4 Chapter 24 Frederick Nassau, Lord of Z. Wielstein. His widow commissioned an elaborate mausoleum in the Orangesall, a panoramic painted ballroom with scenes from his life and allegories of good government based on his achievements. Frederick Henry and his wife Amalia of Somes Braunfels had nine children, four of who died young. They were Marquis of Veer and Vlissingen, Count of Nassau-Dillenburg, Buren, Leerdam, Katznelnbogen, and Vianden, Viscount of Antwerp, Baron of Ageris, Breda, Cranendonk, Lands of Quijk, Deisburg, Eindhoven, City of Grave, Lack, Iselstein, Asterisk Deist, Grimbergen, Herstel, Warneden, Bielstein, Bentheimlingen, Moers, Arley, and Nozeroy, Lord of Dasburg, Gertrui Denberg, Hugen Lajzwilui, Klundert, Montfort, Naldwijk, Nyervart, Polanen, Steenbergen, St. Martin's Dijk, Willemstadt, Butgenbach, Sankt, Vith, and Basankin. Early Life Frederick Henry recognized one illegitimate child by Margaretha Katharina Bruins. Frederick Henry, besides being stadholder of several provinces and captain general, both non hereditary and appointive titles. Stadtholder of Holland, Zeeland, Utrecht, Gulders, and Overijssel. He was the hereditary sovereign of the Principality of Orange in what is today Provence in France. He also was the lord of many other estates, which formed his wealth. Frederick Henry participated in these battles as principal Dutch commander. Stadtholder Death Fifth Grinlow, 1627, S. Hertogenbos Bruges, 3 R.D. Maastricht, Leuven, Skenkenschans, 5 T.H. Breda, 1637, 4 T.H. Venlo, 1637, Callow, Geldern, 2 N.D. Hulst, 3 R.D. Hulst. Children Ancestors Coat of Arms and Titles List of military battles.